I don't know, a lot of y'all are writing some great poems about location and people and character. Um, and I kind of wanted to read some poems about kind of personal history. Uh, and I'm gonna read a poem about how my family ended up moving to Kansas City. Um, we lived, they lived outside of Boonville, Missouri and uh, their house mysteriously burnt down. And that was kind of why they made this trip to Kansas City. Um, so I'm gonna read a little bit of that. Accident. The whispers started when the midwife kept fishing eight pound black boys from Amanda Ellen's strong thighs. All five of them born alive. It was too much, this fortune of boys dangling in front of the depression, fat with a promise of more. All of them muscle and clinch, born with heads full of hair and fists bared like teeth. They never learned to put their hands down, kept them ready when the white boys threatened to cut them off and stuff them in their mouths. There were too many whispers when each survived the rope, war overseas lucky, unscarred, and handsome in uniform. All came back to land they owned and pretty wives they built houses and hung curtains for. In 1956, one of the brothers, my grandfather, already had eight mouths to feed and the audacity to buy a bright red tractor. They watched him sit on top of all that brand new machine and spit, what can we break him with? Later, he will say it was an accident, that the house was hit by lightning. No one will remember any storm that night, but it was the whispers that shot him from his sleep. The, before the porch lit up the windows, he saw ghosts through white curtains. My grandfather piled his wide-eyed babies on a mattress, dragging them through the determined choke of a burning house. When the fire department arrived, no one hurried to put out the scorched bodies of tables and chairs, whispering how lucky they made it out alive to stand in the yard and watch 